do is to remove the negative battery cable from the battery. Now, some repair manuals state that working around the steering wheel and the dash to disable the airbags. Now, after we do that, we want to remove our column covers right here. We want to remove this panel underneath the steering wheel. We have a Phillips head screw right here. And over here, we have a, a 10 millimeter, and we need to remove those now. After we remove these two screws in the bottom, we want to remove this little piece right here, bring it out, lift it up, take it off, and then you will see that they hid. Come on, where are you? There's a little Phillips screw right there. Phillips head screw. So we need to remove that now. All right, now we're ready to take that panel off. Pop that off there. The other ones, and we'll just let that panel just hang just like that. Now we need to turn our key to accessory and rotate our steering wheel so we can get that Phillips head screw on that side. And where are you? Where are you? There we go. That one right there. So let's remove those now. All right, let's separate our column covers. Hey, see, that just fell off. Now to make the top cover easier to remove, we want to remove this piece right here. Just snaps in place. And once that's out of the way, our top cover has plenty of room to remove. There we go. Hold on. On top of the lock cylinder housing is the release tab right in this hole right here right there and that's where you'll insert your pick tool to remove the lock cylinder next thing we got to do is to remove this piece around the lock cylinder right here I expanded these little tabs right here, slid it out of the way, just like that. Okay, I turned it to the accessory, pick tool dropped in. There's the lock cylinder. Mm -hmm. yeah, still got a little grease in there. You can see this one is in a very good shape. Look at this. Woo, key comes right out. But that's all there is to removing the lock cylinder on your Toyota Camry.